The stars and stripes normally bring about a sense of patriotism and pride for the United States, but there are times during protest when burning the flag is meant to get a point across. Well, a bill presented to lawmakers today would look to prohibit the desecration of the U.S. flag, and if you're found guilty, it could mean prison time. Our Jay Burr here now with more on that. Jay, what are they talking about? Yeah, Donna, this bill's actually been awaiting presentation to committee for quite some time now. It was one of the first bills filed during the session. But as you mentioned, it would make it a misdemeanor to desecrate the United States flag. Now, State Representative Johnny Rye actually presenting that bill today says uh, many of his constituents don't like the idea of flag burning or any other means to disrespect it. Rye says he hopes to be able to challenge previous rulings by the Supreme Court saying that the burning of the flag is a form of freedom of speech if necessary. Now, opponents of the bill believe this is just a waste of time and effort and a jail sentence up to one year in prison is outrageous considering the already overcrowding of jails in the state currently. Carrie McCoy with flag and banner disagrees vehemently with this bill and believes it also infringes on First Amendment rights. Nobody likes the idea of burning a flag, but we're not going to start enforcing our views on everybody else. About any right you want in this country you can have, but that's a symbol for the United States of America. And I think that you've got to draw a line somewhere, and I think that's the line in the sand that we're going to draw today. Now, McCoy does mention it, it's actually a lot harder to burn flags nowadays since they are made of nylon, and nylon just sort of melts more than it does burn. But ultimately, this bill did not pass out of the House Judiciary Committee. No word yet if Rye will attempt to run this bill again come later in the session. But for now, live from the state capitol, Jay Burr, Fox 16 News.